What's up, Deckheads? Welcome back to MTG with me. It's the Gains Walker. I'm going to be doing a draft for you. Lord of the Rings set is out. Pretty fun. Done some midweeks, done, done a sealed. Haven't done a draft yet, so we'll check that out. And I'm probably just going to stick with traditional standard or traditional draft for that because every time I do premiere, it doesn't seem to be going well. So traditional, I think that's where it's at. Best of three. You can use a sideboard. And... Uh, Overall, I think better payouts, so we'll do that. All right, our weekly, uh, I guess, quests are pretty good. Almost done with those. 37 coin right now, 13,000 gems, and we got a lot of crafting materials. Oh, looks like 11 rare, 4 mythic rare, and just a bunch of common and uncommon that most likely don't need to use so let's find a draft standard or not standard it's not standard set traditional <coughs> traditional draft lord of the rings tales of middle earth don't forget to like and subscribe fairly new channel free to play player those who have been watching you already know but everything i get is uh, all the cards i have is either crafted or opened in packs or got through drafts so 1500 for the gem here 10,000 for the coin the event that gave us coins that cost gems the chromatic cube draft that's no longer here so there's no other way to get coins aside from doing daily quests and the and in that event so i'm going to use coin now to start moving up those gems again And let's see how many people are playing this right now. I think it's pretty popular, given uh, what I've been hearing people talking about it. At least seeing on online and stuff like that. <laughs> Not sure what uh, colors I'll try to draft. I don't think there's any favored color combo in the set. Last time I played this, I told you about that one card I think is pretty good. It's a Scry 3. And then reveal the top card if it's a creature, draw a card, which is really good for a draft. So I'll be looking to do green and something. Not sure what, but if, if I can find that. If I can't get that, then... And it's a, a, it's a common. It's pretty... That's a really good common to get, so... Hopefully we see that. As far as the flying, there's a decent amount of reach. So... If you try to get flying creatures and just get over the top, that's it's always a plus, but when they have reach creatures that are so heavy in toughness, you gotta find another way around that. So I'll need to focus on getting removal. We'll we'll see what uh, we'll see what comes up. I didn't see a whole bunch of burn though in this set. So that'll be hard to do if we do like a Boros or a Gruel. If we do a Naya, we could have some removal, but it's basically all enchantment removal. The burn removal isn't strong enough for the creatures that are out there. So. <laughs> One more person. There we go. Alright. Elwyn, Fearless Knight. 4 drop, 3, 4. Haste enters the battlefield. Exile target creature. An opponent controls with greater power. Legendary creatures you control gain protection from each of that creature's colors until end of turn. That's so good. What? That's crazy. All right, we're, we're definitely going Aowen Fearless Knight. And it looks like Boros is where it's at, at least for now. So we'll do that. Counter target creature spell with power or toughness two or less for one drop. That's kind of cool. Chance Met Elves is good if we try to find Scry stuff. Whenever you Scry, put a plus one, plus one counters, counter on it, and that, that'll help you each turn. Knights of Dole Amroth was, I thought, pretty amazing. Because there's plenty of draw in the set, so that allows you to build that up. Now, it takes some time, but a lot of times in draft, you'll reach just kind of like a, an overwhelming board state. Everybody will have a bunch of creatures, and you can't really swing into it without facing lethal damage on the swing back, so... That's something that's kind of cool. 
Eagle of the North, six drop. It's got plain cycling, and his battlefield creatures get plus one plus zero on first strike. That's actually not that bad. Uh, let's see. Whenever you attack with one or more elves, scry one. What is this? It has a human knight. I think we go with the Eagle of the North there. So we see something amazing. Celeborn the Wise, 4 drop, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever you attack with one or more elves, scry one. We just saw that. Oh, Elven Farsight. There it is. Excellent. Okay, so maybe we do a Naya thing. Because that'll help us get our good creatures out. This is that land I was talking about. There's a... What is it? It's a Gruul. I think it's two colorless and, and mountain forest. It's a 3-3, three, three, but whenever a land enters the battlefield, you can give a creature plus one, plus one. And if its power is four or more, then it gets first strike, which I think is awesome. Alright, we'll get Elven Farsight, and then maybe we do not a Naya thing. Equip human for one. It's a two drop plus two plus one. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, wait a minute now. A one one for one with menace? That's pretty good. This spider is not that bad either. One one death touch for one. Like, that's pretty solid. Trample, Tree Folk, ETB, Ring Temp. I think we'll do Lancer here. Curve is a three even, but that's because Eagles of the North. All right, let's see what else can we get here. Um... Watchdog, Mushroom Watchdogs was pretty good. I had that in the event that I went to. It was pretty cool. We got a Stalwarts, 5-drop, 4-3. ETB Ring Temp. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, okay, so kind of like the Knights. And then we have another 1-1 one, one Menace. Um, well, we already have the Lancer. Let's spread it out a little bit. We'll do Stalwarts. And then hopefully we see that 1-1 one, one Menace come back around. Another Eagles of the North. It's got Plane Cycling, so that's some utility. Protector of Gondor, 4 drop, 3-3, three, three, ETB, create a 1-1. One, one. That's kind of cool. The Blade would probably help the Lancer. How many humans do we have? We've got three humans already. So we either do Eagles of the North or Dundon Blade. Or Dune Dane Blade. Let's go Dune Blade. And then we'll hope to see Eagles of the North come back. Let's see. Faramir. 4 drop 3-3, three, three. at your end step, if a creature died, draw a card. Ooh, that's pretty good. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than this, it creates a 1-1. One, one. Oh, nice. That's pretty good, actually. Anything you can do to create more of a board state is ideal. Exile target creature, then return it. Alright, so a blink action. That's that's good to get away from targets. So if somebody's like, oh, I'm going to exile that, you can blink it, shake the target. So um, hmm. Return target spell to its understand. Actually, we'll, we'll slip. We'll do the, the slip. That, that other card is okay. But we're not doing like an Azurius build. So if I return a spell to your hand, I'm just wasting a turn for you. But it's not like a good problem. Put target non-land non historic permanent into their library. That's a little annoying. Do that. Okay. 
We've got three that we could choose from. ETB scry to. That's kind of cool. I prefer the three drop because it'll get bigger over time. Oh, this is some removal. Fog on the borrow downs. So if we run into a, a big toughness creature like with reach or something and I can't get through, I can at least do that. E-Smart Cavalier. Deals damage to a goblin or orc, destroy that. That'll be good for the amass decks. People that like to build the orc armies. That's a very popular style of build. We'll go with the trample. Another trample. Protector of Gondor. Nice. Okay. Display of power. This is three drop, two specific mountain. Can't be copied. Copy any number of target instant and or sorcery spells. You may choose new targets for the copies. That's really useful if you have a thick stack. Like if a bunch of people are playing, it's like, I'm going to play this, I'm going to counter that, I'm going to play this, I'm going to counter that. You can copy all those and redirect the targets to you and like use the counters on other things to kind of mess up what people wanted to do with the stack. But that's not really good for drafting. Build a pony, 4 drop, 1-4, enters battlefield, create food token, sack of food. Target creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. That's kind of alright. ETB, other creatures get plus 1 plus 0. Okay, nothing too fancy. Hobbit, sting, X damage target creature where X is the number of the creatures plus food. That could be very useful. I like that. That's a little bit of removal. Stone of Eric one drop exile basically an exile graveyard utility let's do gimli's axe gives a creature legendary and has menace plus three plus zero which i think is pretty cool Ooh, destroy a creature with flying that's cool three drop two three reach being a combat on your turn another target creature you control gets plus one plus zero and then Menace, 1-1, one, one, Lancer. Let's do this. The other card that I liked in that was the one where if you swing with a Halfling, you get a food token. There's some good utility there, especially with Pippin's Bravery. Sack a food token when, and pay one force, and it gets plus four, plus four. Even without it, it's just one for plus two, plus two, which is pretty neat combat trick. Inherited Envelope enters the battlefield, ring temps, add one mana of any color, that'll help with mana fixing. And Limbus is Scry, draw a card, which is also good. Alright, so let's do the Envelope for mana fixing. Target creature gets indestructible as long as you have this. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Up to two target creatures gain lifelink. That's not bad. We do need more of a board state, though. So we'll hope to see that come back around. But until then, we'll get the elves and try to see if we can get some more scry. Yeah, we'll do that. Theoden, uh, King of Rohan, 3 drop 2 3. Whenever this or another human enters the battlefield, target creature gains double strike. What? <laughs> Come on now. Y'all know how much I love double strike. Ah, oh, Eagles of the North. That's probably the better pick there. I could go for more equipment, but I don't want to go too equipment heavy because I'm looking for the Elven Farsight. That will help a lot more. One one that's pumpable for your creatures. If you have a legendary, it's two less, so it's really for three. It's not a bad card. We've already got two of those five drops. So we'll grab that. A little light on the green, so we'll try to look for that. So far, we're not doing bad. 13 creatures already, and this is second pack. 
about halfway through. Shortcut to, mush Shortcut to Mushrooms was something that I played last time that I thought was going to be good, and it wasn't that great. Eagles of the North, that's probably better than the ETB plus 2 plus 0, because this also has an ETB. It's a better flyer. We'll do that. Let's go Mushroom Watchdogs, but I don't have any food token stuff yet. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, it does damage to their opponent. Yeah, let's go dogs. And East Farthing Farmer, 3 drop 2, 3, ETB, create a food token. Sweet, that works. And then if we find that one drop, oh, this one. Pippin's Bravery. And I guess we'll also try to look for Lembus. Sacrifice three, put it into a graveyard. That's kind of cool. All right, more food token stuff. The only card we can use, but what does it do? Four drop. Plus one, plus one counter on each creature. They get vigilance and ring temp. That's not bad. Fire of something I can't pronounce. <laughs> okay. Celeborn the Wise, four drop. More elves, scry. Do I have elves? I have one elf, so that's not going to help. Second breakfast. Up to two creatures get plus two, plus one. That's kind of cool. Oh, elven farsight. What am I doing? It's right there. Um, yeah, that's the move. Legolas. One, four, reach. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Nice. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, deals damage equal to its power to up to one target creature. Ooh. We have to. Oh, there's Strider. That's that other card I was talking about. So, we'll get Leg Legolas and then hope that we see something cool come back around. We can do Mana Fixing. We can do... What is this? Two drop X tap. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature with power X only as a sorcery. I don't know if that's good, but I feel like it's good. It's not that bad. Uh, return target permanent card, create a food token. We might want to do the mana fixing. Tap, add one mana of any color for three. Now we'll have two of those. That's definitely the way to go. Frodo, Sauron's Bane, one drop, one, two. If its citizen becomes a halfling scout with base power, toughness, two, three, and lifelink. If it's a scout, becomes halfling rogue, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses if the ring is tempted four more times. Huh. That's interesting. And we'll hope to see Frodo Baggins on the way back around. A lot of stuff in this pack we could use. Okay, let's see. Esquire King probably is better to have more one drops. Here's that Ent Draught Basin. We'll grab that actually. That looks cool. I like it. Enough to enough to draft it. All right, this says, whenever this run of the Tree Folk enters battlefield, up to two target creatures get plus two, plus two, and trample. I do have, excuse me, I do have two other Tree Folk. So that could be helpful. Hmm. Many parting seems cool, too. Search for a land, create a food token. That's very, that's very cool. Um, ooh, what's this? The Battle of Bywater. Destroy all creatures of power three or greater than create a food token for each creature you control. Oh. I like that. Some 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 sort of board wipe. Target creature gets flying, untap it. Nice. I like the create a food token thing. Uh, 
Um, we either go second breakfast or East Farthing Farmer. Now, I think we have a couple East Farthing Farmer. We already have two. So we'll get second breakfast. Lost a Legend. Basically put something on their library. Or two drop, three, one. They can get rid of an artifact or enchantment. I like that. Protector of Gondor. Oh, we didn't get Lumbus yet. We'll get Lumbus. That again, Porter, four drop. Whenever it attacks, gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures. Yeah, that's definitely the pick. That's <laughs> second breakfast. And another East Farthing Farmer. Alright, well, we got a lot of creatures, a lot of stuff that I think we could use. Um Let's do what we always do. We'll get rid of everything that's not a creature. <clears throat> Curate our creature list and then put stuff in that complements that list. Okay. Got a lot of good stuff. Cool, so our biggest hitter is that 5-6. And whenever this or another tree folk enters the battlefield, up to two creatures each get plus two, plus two, and trample. So the better board state we build, the slower we play. Once we hit that out, it should help get across. Also, let's see. I'll put a focus on humans. Got nine humans. That's good. So when they enter the battlefield, I can give something double strike, which is amazing. So we want to beef up the power and toughness, give them double strike trample, and send them through. We've got two non-creatures still. Oh, inherited envelope. There we go. 23 creatures. Wow, that's nice. I'll go ahead and take a look at that curve one more time. What is it? 3.6. Now, it's a little less than that because of the plane cycling we have on the eagles. That's three six drops that are also one drops. So if I take those out, 3.2, it's not bad. Enraged horn, we'll leave all those. Those are good. Stalwarts, ETB, ring temp. Whenever you draw a second card, they keep getting bigger. All right, so that's kind of cool. It's also human, so we'll leave that alone. Bag end porter, four drop, four, four. Imagine that, that getting double strike and trample. It wouldn't get trample, but that that's pretty cool. <clears throat> this is kind of cool because once I have the human enter and its token enter, that's two humans entering, so then two things will get double strike. Arnir, awesome. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, it put a plus one plus one counter on it. So spells that target other things, those are the ones that I'm going to want to put in. Whenever this enters the battlefield, food, create a food token. When you do target creature, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each food to food you control. That's kind of cool, but that's not its not necessarily our focus. We do have some food token stuff. Hmm, okay.
That's tough. I think we have a pretty good list. Got 23 creatures, 17 lands. Let's let's take a look at see what we want to put in. I definitely want to put in two of those for mana fixing. Two of those for scry, draw, get the creatures, that's good. So that's four. Could probably get two more cards. We have food tokens, so one, two, three, four, five. Maybe six right there. Oh, but we also have... We got other stuff that we want to put in. Alright, so let's... Since I, I'm having a hard time figuring out what creatures to take out at what CMC, we'll, we'll take a look at what we have now. 3.6. Let's see. We do have two specific forests on multiple cards. So it's double white is probably hard to do. Destroy all creatures with power 3 or greater. That could be useful. So we'll hold on to that. Lost a legend. We're not going to... We're not going to push that. Hobbit Sting. X damage to target creature. Where X is the number of creatures you control. Plus the number of food tokens. That's... I like that just for the removal. Slip on the ring is okay. It just blinks you. So you can like block. After declared blocks. Blink it. That way you shake the combat damage. Unless it's got trample. And you can keep blocking that way. Ooh, I could also do that as a combat trick. So let's say I block and I have that creature that, um, that says whenever a human enters the battlefield, target creature gets double strike. So block with it, blink it, give it double strike, win the combat. That could be cool. Fog on the borrow downs. This is... Can't attack or block. That's pretty cool. Elven Farsight is just amazing to, to get the deck to do what you want it to do. So we'll do that. Mana fixing. We definitely want that. Alright, so we have six non-creatures. We want to take the creatures down to 17. And then I guess we could sideboard if we need. Pippin's Bravery is good, though. I don't know. Alright, let's take a look and see what we got. As far as red spells, this is like barely a Naya deck. But those are so worth playing. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature with power X. That's pretty good. Just because it helps build your board state if you get in a standstill. Gimli's Axe. Eh. Yeah, I think, I think we're okay with that. Let's just go ahead and get rid of six. East Farthing Farmer is a three drop, two, three, create a food token. When he enters, they also get plus one, plus one for each food you control. That could be very useful. Mm. That's tough. Alright, so we'll hold on to that. We don't have a bunch of scry. We have some, but not as much as you want to see that. So that'll go... Protector of Gondor, enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier, okay. Bag end quarter seems good. I like the eagles just for the flying. It is three six drops though. ETB, plus one, plus zero, first strike until end of turn. Plane cycling, it's not a human, so it's not helping with that. If I got rid of them, it would lower the, lower the CMC. It helps grab planes, which is awesome. At least for mana fixing. I'm on the fence. I might put those out. I don't know. The 
The Mushroom Watchdogs uses the food tokens. Those use the food tokens. They also give you life. Battle of Bywater creates food tokens. That's cool. Okay, let's see. Esquire. Okay. East Smart Cavalier. 2 drop, 2 2. Whenever it deals damage to a goblin or orc, destroy it. That's useful. We'll keep that. Sacrifices destroy artifact or enchantment. It's a 3 1 for 2. There's value in that. There is. But most of what we're going to see are creatures. So we're going to toss that one. I need to get rid of four more. I prefer to have the flying just because it helps you get over the top. But like I said, there's so much reach that that's kind of... I don't know. I'm either going to remove those three or these three. East Farthing Farmer. Now it is a three drop, two, three. It's got a pretty decent ETB. Creates food tokens that helps other things. This one, Eagles of the North. ETB creatures get a, a, a temporary anthem, the plus one, plus zero on first strike. That's pretty cool. But I don't know. You know what? Eagles of the North helps all of them and East Farthing Farmer helps one and if I'm going to be using the food tokens with Mushroom Watchdogs and probably second them for life gain to kind of help with the life total throughout let's get rid of those our curve went up a little bit from that but now we only need to get rid of one card it's not hard to do Esquire of the King I think that might go it's a 1-1. One, one. It does help other creatures, but I also have different 1-1s one, to play. So get rid of Esquire. I think that's good to go. Wait, is that a human? Ooh. We want to try to keep the humans. Excuse me. So now we have 7. We lost 2. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's a halfling. That's not a human. Lego loss, keep. That's keep. That's keep. Protector of Gondor. 4 drop, 3 3, ETB. Create a human. It is a human. We don't want to lose that. I mean, maybe get rid of Bag End Porter, but it's a 4 drop, and whenever it attacks, it gets stronger. Where it's the number of legendary creatures. I think we keep that. Alright, let's check the mana fixing, and we'll go from there. We've got one, two, three mountain symbols in our mana costs, and it only wants three mountains. That's a little iffy, right? We we can't just expect that we're going to get that, so that's, that's not cool. Double white. The only double white we need is for the Battle of Bywater. Everything else is just a one-up. One, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For the forest, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Any doubles? 9, 10. Okay. Um, any doubles for the planes? No. Okay, so for the planes, I'll knock that down one. I'll up the mountain one. And I don't want to do I don't want to put planes at five just because I know I'm gonna need them pretty frequently so I think we keep it at six four seven that's 17 lands right there and we have the envelopes to help us with our mana fixing in between so I think that's a little bit better double checking we've got 17 lands it's mainly planes very tight splash of mountain and a decent amount of forest so this is a solid naya deck 
17 creatures, 6 non. We're, I think we're right where we want to be. So let's go ahead and get ready. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's rock and roll. See how we do. <clears throat> Play first. Oof, that's a mall. That was not good. This is kind of a mall, but we'll hope to draw. I mean, we got two of the awesome cards that we need. So we'll pitch stalwarts and hope that we draw a mountain. I think that's the plan. Let's do that. Look at those shoulder pads. <laughs> They're so thick. <laughs> All right, let's pitch. Yeah, keep six, pitch stalwarts. This is our turn two, and we're just gonna hope to see a, uh, hope that we run into a mountain or some mana fixing. If we, if we draw an envelope, that'll be good too. All right, play force turn one. Let's see what they're gonna do. What are we playing against? All right, put the dogs out. Yikes, death touch already. Gonna put us on the fence. No attacks. If anything, I'll let them build up the board state and then just go from there. Uh, this does nothing right now because it's creatures with power three or greater. No blocks. Take the one. Another spider. Ooh. Not really what we want to see, but okay. No attacks. I've got no legendaries right now. Yikes. Little 2-3 flyer. Okay. Wow. No attacks. Can't swing into that death touch. That's a bad idea. Dang, we are not getting our mana. Um, this is a six drop. I'd have to only play plane cycling for that. That's not good. Let's do. Well, let's let's wait. We'll see. No attacks. Just waiting. That's a little frustrating. One one enters the battlefield. Scry one. Three return from the graveyard to the battlefield. Tap only if you control a legendary. They're probably going to swing in here pretty hard. If I do the plane cycling now, I won't be able to get a flyer to stop that 2-3, so I'm just going to wait and see if we draw. They did not. Yikes.
This is tough. We didn't get a mountain at all? Come on. What is this? Um, I guess I'll... Ah, I don't want to do that. That's a little frustrating. Ah. Uh, swing with the 4 4 doesn't do anything, no attacks. And if I play the 4 5, ah, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna start playing it. Uh, if I don't play stuff, I'm just gonna lose to not playing stuff. Alright, now he is the ring bearer, which means he's legendary, so he's going to swing for 5. That is a little better. Does it give plus 1, plus 1? Plus X, plus X. Gotcha. Oh, never mind, he gone. Now that I, now that I, now we get it. Now that I've been playing this a little bit here and holding on to this, I realize how little value the Battle of Bywater has. So we're probably gonna toss that, keep it on the sideboard, and replace it with something else like Pippin's Bravery or something like that. Um, I could play this and Exile Enraged. That seems cool, but it doesn't have double strike. So I can put the 2-3 down. But then what am I doing? I'm blocking a 1-1. One, one. 2, 4, 6, 7 damage. Eh, we could do that. At least for a turn. So we could play this first. Double strike. Trample. That seems good. Let's see if my opponent knows anything about death touch and double strike stuff. Well, if I swing, what am I opening up to? I'm opening up to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. I could chop 2. Go down to 9. Chop another one, go down to 8. Why not? This is a rough game anyway. No blocks, just taking the eight. Okay, well I may just do the plane cycling to do it. Oh, I hope they don't have removal. I need that double strike. Dang. Um, additional cast, sacrifice creature, or pay four, destroy target creature. Yeah. Not much I'm going to be able to do now. I was really banking on that double strike to try to get through. Lot of damage. Ten damage. That's it. Yeah. Ooh, that was spicy. We're definitely gonna sideboard that because that was just rough. Okay, that is gone. Mountains. We really don't have that much, but we'll add that. We'll get rid of that. So we have the same. I guess I could knock down the forest and have more planes, but that's nah. That's fine. We'll do that. Five five seven and we need slip on the ring. Good blink action. I think that would be useful. What else was not good? I 
Pippin's Bravery. We didn't even get food tokens, really. Maybe we just keep it there. 3.4 average CMC. A little better on the mana fixing. Yeah, we'll do that. Hopefully we get a better hand. Play it first, you already know. There we go. That's much better. I'm gonna keep the Eagles of the North because we have four lands and we're close to that and we've got plenty we can play until we get to that point, so. But I like having the option. That's always good. Legolas. He's probably just gonna get removed. <laughs> Food token, okay. Excellent, okay. Let's do Eowyn and just run up in there. That's kind of cool. I'll avoid trying to hit that though. I don't want them to ramp up too much ring tent. End of the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one human. Sure, actually first let's scry and see what's up. That's why you scry. <laughs> All right, we don't need that land. Uh, Theoden, King of Rohan is definitely what we want to draw. And then Frodo Sarn's Bane. I guess we could play. I guess we could draw that. Alright, so. Rohan first. Reveal draw. Let's get Elwyn double strike. So we have a 3 4 double strike. I'll be able to give Elwyn double strike and Theoden double strike. Just by playing Protector of Gondor. And that is a four drops. Frodo's a one drop, so I'll be able to do that again. I'll get all of them double strike. Okay, let's see what we can do. Land for turn. So this should happen twice. Another 1-1, one, one. let's get this double strike. And I guess I could hold on to Frodo for next turn to keep the double strike stuff going. Because giving Legolas, let's see. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, I'm not targeting him. The ability is targeting him. Put a plus one, plus one counter. And I'm not targeting something I don't control, so that's not helpful. Swing with both of these. And that should be another 10 damage if they don't block. So, Yikes. Target creature gets minus two minus total to end of turn. That's pretty good. So Theoden's gone. They're gonna block with the spider. Yeah. Oof. 
The ring will go on the spider. And they trade. Well, they don't trade. It just dies. That sucks. My opponent is mana boned right now. It's never fun. Six cards in hand. Three lands. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Ring temps. And they're picking up the guardian. The one that just left the battlefield. One three look out scry when it dies when it attacks scry that's pretty good actually the elves they're strong oh and actually speaking of elves i thought in one of my previous videos that we were heading to heading to lorwen but that is not the case it looks like the next set is the 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 fairy tale set again i can't remember what it's called but a lot of cool cards in that basically you play like a double-sided card you play the backside first and then it's just exiled not in the graveyard nothing but you could play it from exile a lot of value in being able to play stuff like that so i'm excited to see what they do with that um i probably block this with the one one and just get that death touch out of here Excuse me. Whew. Let's see. I could play this. Eagles of the North. Creatures have first strike, so giving double strike would have been cool, but... Excuse me. I can't do that anymore because he's gone. Um, yeah. Sweet. They, they had enough of that one. Four drop. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature. They gain vigilance. That might be worth putting in. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'll leave it the same. I do kind of want to put fog on the barrow down. All right. We'll do that. Game three. That is a terrible hand. Probably no. That's better. I'll pitch a mountain. That way we can play Legolas and those two drop forest ones that we have. Turn one, I'll do Elven Farsight, find the creature that I need to play, and organize the deck from there. Such a good turn one play. It's so good. Um, I don't necessarily need the lands. So I'll set it this way, so next turn I draw Elven Farsight. And that's pretty good. I like that. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's do this. Now we're cooking. Slip on the ring could be good, so... This is when it ETBs exile target creature and opponent controls with greater power. Not until this leaves the battlefield, just exile it. So by having her out, if they play something big, I can exile their creature, and then I can do slip out the back, blink her, and exile something else. Assuming they have greater powers, which doesn't seem to be the case in this opponent, but it could happen. Bag end quarter. Let's see, they're both four drops. We'll do this so that we can play the legendary and then get the benefit from bag and porter swinging. 
and and turn. I might even do plane cycling just to get that going, but I really want to draw Elwyn before that. Let's do mana ramp, baby. No creature to make the ring bear. So that kind of stinks, but we'll get there. Get hit for four. That hurts. Alright, four drop. Let's do Fearless Knight. And that is exiled, so they don't even get the ring temp. Pro green can't be blocked. Just getting in there. One one death touch, okay. Lots of 1-1 one, one death, that's right. Um, I have 5 mana to play. The only thing I can't play is Eagles, but I got stuff to play, so there's no sense in doing plain cycling right now. Hit for 1. Okay. Okay. I don't have a way to draw another card, but it is a 4-3. That's kind of cool. Oh, actually, the ring, right here, the second one. Whenever the ring bearer attacks, draw a card, then discard. I like that. No attacks right now. It's gonna sit tight. They're playing defense. They don't have any flying though, so I can go ahead and make the eagle. Well, wait a minute, that does give first strike until end of turn, so let me build up my board. Play the four drops so we can still play slip on the ring if I need to. They have some removal, so that's kind of important to have. No attacks and turn. Yeah, that first strike is gonna help us get around the death touch, but I want to make sure we get the most out of it. So that trample from enraged, I don't know how to say that, Horan would really help. Destroy target creature, ring temp. Um, hmm. I guess I blink him, do the ETB, because I don't see a creature that Elwyn is going to be able to target from them. They're at four mana, two cards in a hand. We'll just protect Stalwarts here. That'll do it. That's what I'm talking about. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's that first dub. One more and we get a solid amount of gems. That would be a thousand gems. I like that. Let's keep playing. See how we do. <clears throat> this is a fun set. I like it. There's a whole bunch of weird situations that you have to think about because of all the added abilities from the ring temp but once you kind of get the flow of that figure that out that's very helpful
We'll keep this for sure. We got the envelope, so turn three envelope, turn four Eowyn, and turn five en enraged Horon. That's all. That's very playable. <clears throat> we have that one double forest and one other elf. I forget his name, but that's a three drop. So we want to make sure that we play our forest first. Unless we draw one drop that requires a different land. Sweet. Lots of trample. Plenty of good stuff here. Scry action. Alright. Play the planes. Play envelope. Planes, envelope, and we're rolling. <clears throat> Reveals their hand, choose an online card from it, the player discards it. Ah, Eowyn's gone. That's for sure. If I was looking at that, I would definitely pull out a one. But we'll see what they do. Maybe they want to get rid of the horn. Haran. Nah, she gone. And a mass orcs too. All right, so this deck looks like they're building an army. So we'll have to. I mean, our our good answer to that was what they just removed. So that doesn't help. We will have to play smart. Let's put out some tree folk. <clears throat> so that can't be blocked by creatures with power greater than it. And when I swing it, I get to draw a card and discard a card. Okay. Let's do this. I'll go ahead and play... Well, I could do another ring temp. What's the third one? When it becomes blocked by a creature, they have to sack it. Ooh. That's pretty neat. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll put another tree folk out. And then that way they have to do something about it. Alright, so if they block with the 4-4 four, four and the 1-1 one, one to try to get that, they have to sack them both. I think that would be really good for us. They've got two cards in hand. I'm going to discard a plant. Ooh, minus two. Never mind. Sweet, that worked out really well for us. <clears throat> Landfall ring temp seems like a good strategy. Ooh, yikes, this is not what we want to see. That's that 5 7 reach I was talking about. No attacks. We're just gonna sit tight. Let's see, what can I do to remove that? It's tough. If I can get a ring tempt, I can keep swinging with the enraged. Because it can't be blocked by creatures of power greater than it. So the 5 7 can't stop it right now. They've got no cards in hand. They made the 5-7 the ring bear. Draw a card, discard a card, it just gets pitched. They pitched a flying, a mass orcs, two, three drop, one, one. Not crazy. 
Block the 1-1. One, one. No problems there. Swing with the 4-5. And the... I think that's it. We're doing something. Not sure exactly how we're gonna really get value out of this. I think I'm just gonna take the five and try to swing back harder. No blocks. Oh nice, envelope, ring temp. Alright, now, what do I put it on? Do I put it on the 4-4? Four, four? That when he attacks, it gets plus X, plus X until the end of turn where X is the number of legendaries. And then what does this say? This says, it's a legendary can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So we should put it on Enraged because the Porter will get stronger when he swings. And that could cause a problem. Didn't play a land for turn, but that's on purpose. I want to be able to pitch the force when I draw a card, discard a card. And, I mean, I guess... I'm at 13, so if we keep swinging this back and forth, they will eventually beat me. So, if I swing out, can I take 10? I can. But they couldn't, because then I would do lethal next turn. So we get really gutsy here. This is what we're doing. Let's get rid of this. I did have a creature that died, so I should be drawing a card here. Excellent. I like that. And we got our Eastmark Cavalier, which will help us get rid of any amass tokens or uh, orc armies that come out. So that seems really good. I'm happy with how that played out. Hopefully our gutsiness will be the better play there. Now, if they do hit me with that, all they need is one more ring temp, and that'll be 12 damage. I'll be down to one if I don't block. So... That's close. I don't know. Tree Folk. 4, 4, 5, 7. If I block it, I just have to sack it. It's 9 damage. So even if they do something that's like Ring Temp, they have Force opening 2 cards in hand. So that could be a buff. That could be a combat trick. Let's see, let's read Faramir real quick. 4 drop 3-3. Three, three. Beginning end step, if a creature died under your control this turn, draw a card. Whenever the ring tempts you, if I choose a creature other than this, create a 1-1 one, one human. That could help us block if we get some more ring temps, so... No blocks. We'll see. If they have any combat tricks, we'd see it right now. I get hit. No, they put an 8-8 eight, eight death touch spider out. Yikes. <laughs> this is a human knight. So I can give something double strike. Okay. Let's play Theoden. Then we'll play Eastmark Cavalier. So this gets... Uh, target creature gets double strike. That's going to be the 4-5. 
I'll play Eastmark Cavalier, give double strike to Bag and Porter. And then swing with everything. So that's 8 damage that has to be blocked by the 1-1, one, one, not the 8-8 eight, eight because it's the ring bearer. Which means that's going to be 7 damage. It'll block one of them, get hit for the rest. It'll probably block the 4-4 four, four double strike, which will get rid of it as well. And Faramir will finish him off. There we go. There we go. All right, let's keep rolling. That was a fun one. A lot of lot of combat stuff, a lot of a lot of calculations. But that was cool. Hmm. They're, looks like they're taking their time with that sideboard. Dang, if we win this, then that's two already. That's a thousand gems and three packs pretty quickly, I'd say. I mean, the premier drafts are cool, but I hate the idea that if you just get a bad hand, it's already a loss. Because you're going to get bad hands. It's about mulling that and sideboarding it that really helps you play through that. Alright, so we got Legolas. We got a few things here, but no red mana. This is probably not a keep, but we're up one. Let's just keep and see how we do. Let's do forest. Mushroom watchdogs, nice. They've already got a food token to what make the three three vigilance. Good play. Sting, ooh. I like that card. Legolas. Be able to block that 3-3, three, three, but not really, because they'll just equip it. Uh-oh. Legolas about to get removed here, it looks like. Maybe? Maybe not? What are you doing, bro? Come on. Reveal their hand. Oh, there goes Theoden. Theoden go. Well, I don't have any red mana, so maybe they just take out Quick Beam. If they're smart, they'll take out Quick Beam. Because I need to draw into red mana. So then I'd have nothing to play. There you go. That's that's the play. That was a good play right there. Um, no attacks. Just sit tight with the one-four blocker here. They're down to three cards in hand. Five open mana. Equipping sting two mushroom watched out. Yeah, can't stop that. We're just gonna get hit with that. Alright. Four five. Ring temp and it has a trample. Let's put um Can't be blocked by creatures with more power. I mean, I'm just going to put it on Enraged. 
No attacks. That way I have more legendary creatures. So there is a card that gets buffed from that, so I'm trying to play into that. Yikes. Then there's a 4-4. Four, 5-5. Four. Five, five. Ooh. No block. That's good for me, though, because now they have to block with a 2-2 two, two if they do that. Alright, so now that 4-5 is double strike. They can't do anything about it. I can find a way to buff that. I'll be in a better spot. We're down to eight already, though. So this is a tight situation. Any little bit of removal that they have is going to put me in a very bad spot. So we'll see what I can do if Theoden stays out. Play the Lancer. Double strike again. They can't block with creatures of greater power. But that double strike trample is going to do some work. All right, well, it's a dog fight. We'll chop there. And then chop with the one four there. Any combat tricks? Nope. Five, seven, yikes. Land for turn and pass. Ooh, I forgot to swap this out. That's what's going on here. Um, which means I also need to fix the lands again. I forgot to do that. Let's play... Uh, land for turn. Lancer. Double strike to the 4-5. I mean, it just happens that this is the perfect card that I need right now. But uh, destroy all creatures with the power of three or greater. That's going to hurt mine, too. But it's not terrible. So with the 4-5, they could block with the 2-2, two, two, but that's double strike. So we're doing work here. And we're basically looking at lethal coming in. So they've got one card in hand. Me removing their board state is ideal rather than looking at the damage coming in. And I'd still have a 2-3 and a 1-1. One, one. They would have nothing. So that's the move. And we got food tokens. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Ooh, they got a bat. 2-3. Is that all they're going to do? They equip that and make it a 3-4. That's a little spicy. Ring temp. Beginning of your end step. If permanent control. Left the battlefield. Put a plus one, plus one. Okay. Let's crack a food token, gain a little bit of life. Ring temp. Let's put it on Lancer, because it can't be blocked. Well, let's see. Yeah, and that one's already legendary, so I'll spread it out. I could swing with a 2-3. Nothing bad really there, and the 1-1 one, one can't be blocked. But if I swing with the 2-3, they just block with it. One one can't be blocked. Two three, they're just gonna chop. So we'll just swing with the one. Nice. Discarded a forest off the top. I'm okay with that. I wanna draw that, but I hate discarding stuff like draw just to discard. Because 
if you draw like an awesome gem, you're like, no, but why? Opponent's at five life, I'm at 11. They're about to hit me with three over the top, I think. And a two one, when it dies, a mass or one. What? I'm gonna keep the food token for now until I need to use it. Actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have two open mana. My highest drop is a six drop, so we can, we can hold it up. We can keep it open. Swing with a three, four, okay. What? If a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, put a plus one, plus one. That's funny, because I have a video where the, my food token left the battlefield and it didn't give me a plus one, plus one counter. Weak. Literally tested that out. I was like, what? Tokens are permanents? Why does, it, why does it not count? And why didn't I get a plus one, plus one counter? Crazy. Um, yeah, I'll take my turn. Okay, so, the 2-2, when it enters the battlefield, I can give double strike to a creature. I'll give it to Theoden, but the problem is, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter, because I'll do four damage to it, and then I'll just die from it. So, let's see. Well, might as well keep playing board state stuff here. Um, I could give it to Lancer. And that way, when it hits, I can at least get rid of the Vanguard thing. No, Elven Farsa. Next. And let's see what they do. Ooh, they just took it. And turn. Okay. So they've got a 4-5 and a 2-1 that they're probably not going to swing with. 4-5 they definitely will because it keeps on tapping. Alright. They've got a solid board state now. I don't know what I could play. Aowyn, probably. Eowyn is probably the only thing that can help me here. Time to sack that food token. Ooh. It's a tie. 6-6 six, six right now. That's rough. Swing with a 1-1 one, one double strike. Or not one I'm not one, one double strike. 1-1 one, one menace. And we'll discard the planes. Let's do that. One of ring bear becomes blocked by a creature. That creature sacri is sacrificed at the end of combat. Okay, so that's not going to help until next turn, but if we make it to next turn. I guess we'll put it on him. See what's up. A1 would be great. Give Theoden double strike. She'll swing in for haste. We have enough creatures to make that happen. That's 8 damage. If I chop with the 2-2, two -two, it's not enough. If 
There you go. That's gonna do it for that one. I'm gonna need to sideboard out that board wipe. Even though it was helpful this turn, it's not really what you want. That is the only way that I make it to another turn, so we'll see what we go. Ooh. I don't know how I got hit for one there. But nothing else I could have done. Alright, so we'll get rid of Bywater. Uh, Lancer was okay, but we don't have any equipment, so we'll get the Lancer out of here. Let's put in the slip on the ring and something else. Pippin's bravery, maybe. That'll be good with the double strike. Um. Hmm. See that that or Ent drop basin. I do kind of like second breakfast, though. Up to two target creatures each get plus two, plus one. So you could spread that out, create a food token, gain some life. How many creatures? Down to 16. Oof. Maybe we take Pippins out and put in one of these guys. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, let's put in Westfold Rider because they have Sting. So we could get rid of that. Because that that's what ruined us in that. Uh, we have three Eagles of the North. So I could take one out and put that in. But then we're down a creature. We're going to keep it like that. See how we do. Just going to keep, keep trying. <clears throat> Play first. That is not a keep, but it's so close. We do have plenty of force, though. I forgot to adjust the mountains. Ah, all right. So we definitely keep because we we're probably not finding a mountain. Well, there you go. Never mind. Start with a 3-1 so we can get some early hits in. Looks like we will be able to get some early hits in. Yeet. Nice. We got mana fixing. Let's do, what is this, one, two, three, four, five. So we can do ETB, Ring Temp, Dwarf, and then Hobbit Sting to clean up whatever they put out. Yeah, I like that. Sweet. That's a nice little early play there. We already got one ring tap, we got a 3-1 doing work. That's what's up. This is instant speed. Okay. So I could put in... Huh. We're one land away from just playing eagles over the top. Let's put in our tree folk here. Uh, choose target creature to be the ring bearer. I mean, I guess I'll switch it over to enraged and no, no combat. Don't want to lose him. Because I need to sack him to get rid of that equipment. Just right here. So. I guess. 
I could wait till they swing, block, and then sack to get the most value out of that. Make them. S I could do it right now, but I want them to spend the mana on trying to equip something and wasting that turn. It's an equip two, so they would have already done it if they could. Hobbit Sting, X damage to target creature, X is the number of creatures you control, plus the food tokens. So I could play a three drop, which I don't have. When your ring bearer attacks, draw a card, and then discard. Let's do that first. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to swing with the enraged. Draw a card. Let's discard. I don't have a whole bunch of legendary, so I could discard Porter. Yeah. We'll discard Porter. They're probably just going to take that damage. They're doing three? Okay. I have a feeling that's a misplay unless they have like a one drop. Oh, they have the one drop minus two minus two. That's what they're doing. I feel like they would have already done it. Alright, so I've got six mana here. I could play that, but then I'm losing... Losing the first strike action, which is good. Let me do this. Um, we're just going to end the turn. I'm going to hope that what they're doing is equipping the sword. There's the minus two, minus two. Okay, cool. Target creature gets minus two, minus two at the end of turn. Okay. Not much I can do about that. X damage for X is the number of creatures. I'll have to hold off on that. My turn. Nice. This helps. And I'll have two mana open. I'm going to do no attacks. We're just going to slow roll this. They got three card, four cards in hand, four open mana. Three cards and five open. Okay, there's the move. Let's go ahead and do Hobbit Sting for three. Now they could try to equip it to the one one now, which would really waste their their mana. Well, hold the phone, buddy. Oh, I can only activate as a sorcery. Ooh, whoops, I read that wrong. I thought that was instant speed, like, whatever. So, that worked out. Enters the battlefield, ring temp. Whenever you draw a set. So this is going to be, that's going to be, uh, that's going to get a plus one, plus one counter. This turn. Let's swing with the 3-3. Three, three. Excuse me. Alright, that's gonna be draw a card, discard a card, we'll discard the forest. Excellent. That is what we wanna do. Down to twelve.
Enraged Charm, uh, Trample, ETB, Ring Temp, okay. The being of each combat on tap, cool, so they're moving in, and they're passing, it looks like. Okay, my turn. We got the dogs. We got the birds. Let's see. When you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Sweet. So I'm going to give them all first strike. So that'll be four, three, first strike, two, two, first strike. They'll probably block. But wait a minute. Don't they have to sack a creature now? Yes. I like that. So I'll swing with the 4-3. If they block it, they have to sack stuff. The 6-4 is going to become a 7-5. And then I could swing with the 2-1 and the 4-1. But that 6 damage puts them down to 6. I have a 3 flyer. That's 2 turn clock. It might be worth pushing them right now. Ah. But then I can't sack it at sorcery speed. So I'll just swing with those and see what they'd like to do. Discard Saren's Bane or Mushroom Watched Out. I could make it a 2-3 lifelink. Lifelink's always good. Get rid of Sauron's Bane. Sweet, we got a 7-5 first strike and a 4-3 first strike. That they have to sack their 4-5 now, so that's... If they let that happen, that's a misplay. Ooh, wouldn't do that. There goes your board state. <laughs> now you're looking at lethal. That should do it. I don't see what they could play. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Like and subscribe, baby. Yeah. Sweet. Thousand gems. Three packs. Loving it. And we still got one more game. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I forgot to edit the deck again. No. Wait, can I cancel? Does that get rid of it? No, one game remaining. Okay. Alright, let's adjust. We want one more mountain. We want one last planes. We want to get rid of this. Put in this. What else did I get rid of? I got rid of one of the eagles. Or I wanted to. We're at 17. I was thinking about putting that in. Board drop, put a plus one, plus one on each creature, and they get vigilance. We'll wait. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that is much better. All right. Here we go. This should be fun. Let's see how it goes. A 
Come on, good hands, baby. Good hands, good hands, good hands. That is not a good hand. <laughs> we gonna mull that. That is doable. We'll keep six. Pitch an envelope. The Elven Farsight. Let's do... Okay, we got Legolas going on here. Yeah, we'll draw for the two drop here. That card is so good. One drop, scry three. Reveal top card, draw a creature, like, in draft. That is so good. <laughs> in my event, that I, the in-person event for the pre-release, I, I pulled three of those, I think. It was nuts. Swing with the 2 1, they want me to block that. I am not gonna block that. My turn. Uh, I could do. Envelope. And get ready to play Tree Foot. Actually, that's probably a better move. Legolas is probably better for a. Mono Green ramp. Kind of thing where you're buffing creatures because then you could deal damage with it, but aside from that, swinging with two two vigilance. They took the two down to 18. We'll go for enraged tree folk or an enraged horon. Three drop two four beginning of your end step if a creature died under your control create a one one human soldier and they would get a ring temp sacrifice a creature each opponent loses one life and you gain one life okay I see what you're doing no blocks <laughs> waiting on you bro jeez. There you go. Okay, we will do... 4-5 Trample, seems fair. We'll move the ring over to the tree pole. Now when it attacks, I'll draw a card, discard a card. No attacks though. I'm gonna make them spend their mana. To get rid of creatures. I'm not not trying to make it easy for them. <laughs> Ooh. Three four. When two or more creatures attack, you can give one of them flying. That's a solid card. Very solid card. Land for turn. Let's do... Up to two target creatures get plus two, plus two, gain trample. Yes, that's the move. Swing in with both. Let's get that damage in there. And discard. Guess I'll discard the Lancer. <laughs> Down to eight. Oh, woo. get in there. OK. 
effect. Vigilance plus some plus encounters. Swinging them in. I'll do Eagles of the North and then just first strike damage in. Seems seems good. No blocks. I'll take that damage. Down to six. I'm going to hold on to the land so that I can discard that. Let's do Eagles of the North. I think that'll be good. First strike should help. I mean, that's going to be a 5-5 five, five first strike, 6-6 six, six first strike, and a 3-2 first strike. Um, if I don't swing, I'm in trouble. If I swing, they have to block. Alright, draw and discard. Discard a forest. They're gonna take five, go to three. You could pay to sack the creature. That would definitely help you. But it's not like you need to do that. Because, I mean, if you pay to sack, it's going to die either way. There's no trample on that one. But, okay, sure. I will play... I mean, I guess I could do land for turn. I have a card in hand anyway, so next turn I could just keep doing that. Draw a card, discard whatever the weaker card is. If they ring temp two times and hit me with something, then that's a problem. I'm gonna have to block Horizon just because it's more power. Either, either, either way, I blocked it wouldn't wouldn't do wouldn't do good. We'll be down to two unless they have a combat trick. Two cards in hand, plenty of open mana. I'm guessing they have a combat trick. Plus one, plus three puts me down to one. Is it enough? Oh, it is enough. They sacked it. Oh, good play. That was a good play. Okay. Um, Lancer's not doing anything. Let's take out Lancer, put in Rider. I like the... Gimli's axe, but I like the creatures where they're at. We're gonna roll with this. See how we do. That was so close. Play it first. Yeah, that's a keep. We'll do that for sure. Got to turn two, turn three. I'll do plane cycling if I need to. 
We'll go forest first in case we get a Legolas. Turn one. One one Esquire, okay. Definitely need another land to really get rolling here, or maybe the envelope. Envelope would be cool, but land is better. No blocks, take the one. <clears throat> Moving along here, this one is Sacrifice Token Exile Creature, they didn't have one, so that's all good stuff. Next, no attacks and turn, we're gonna get hit for three on this next one, and that stinks. That 2-2's got Vigilance, so they're just gonna keep rocking it, so. Let's see. Turn three, removal, yikes. Alright, let's... Guarantee our lands. We're gonna get that plant. And it's not removal. I could still sack it, so that's cool. Um, let's do. Play Faramir, I want to see if they put out something better than what they have on the field, and then I can use Eowyn to solve that problem. So next turn we'll do Stalwarts. We'll get a Ring Temp. We'll get another Ring Temp, then we'll swing. Okay, okay, that's cool, I like that. Excellent. Okay. Let's do ring temp. And we'll choose the Star Wolf so we get another 1-1. One, one. Star Wolf, when he swings, is going to be a 5-4. So if they swing with something on their turn here, we can kind of level the playing field that would be ideal but let's see what we can do whenever the ring tempts you if you choose a creature other than this all right so when the etb happens if i choose the same creature to be the ring bearer i think that that still works i think we'll still get another one one which is a plus Looks like they're missing a land drop. Four cards in hand. Four mana open. Never mind. Five mana open. Three cards in hand. And then a plus one, plus one on everything. They get vigilance. Here comes the swing. Let's see. One open mana. They could do the plus one type deal thing that they did last time for one and untap. So that's a little dangerous. How much how much am I looking at here? Seven, eight, nine, eleven. How much could I swing back? Eight? Not even close. Let's chop that. Is that more reasonable? Three, three. Next turn, I'll get rid of the 4-4. Four, four. I really don't want to lose the Star Wolves. 
So I take seven, I go to nine. I think that's fair. If they have the plus one, plus three untap, then I'll be at eight, but it's not a big difference. I'm okay with that. Okay. Now we remove the problem. Ooh. Okay, whenever you draw your second card, put a plus one plus one counter on it. I guess I could do this and Elven Farsight. Let's do Farsight now and just see what we got cooking up. Alright, lands are going. First strike is good. We'll, we'll keep that. Draw. Now nah, he's a little bit bigger. I like that. He's also. This says legendary creatures get protection of the of the color of the card that I'm exiling. So when I exile Protector, Star Waltz is going to get pro white and just walk right through. So that's cool. Um, let's go next. 5-4. Oh, is it? Oh, all legendaries. Alright, so... The 5-4 will swing in, the 3-4 will swing in, that's 8 damage. I could do 11, but then I have no board state. And that kind of hurts. They can do 7 damage. I'm going to leave Faramir back. They can't stop it, so... That's just gonna hit him. Yep. And for fun, I'm just gonna go ahead and sack this. There's my target. Now I'll draw a card from Faramir because a creature died this turn. And that has to be on my turn. I was reading that on a couple of the combats before. Sweet. Uh, so we'll do Enraged. That'll do a Ring Temp. Star Waltz will draw. Or he'll get a plus one, plus one. I don't know if they'll swing here. If they could swing with a 3-3. Three, three. Let's see. That's seven damage total. Swing back damage at least six but not enough so I do need to try to trade here if I go for the three three they could do the plus one plus three and that's a problem if I do it plus one plus three here that's a problem so either way it's a problem I'll just try to get rid of the vigilance that's probably not gonna fly we're probably gonna lose Faramir and they're gonna keep that Plus one, plus three, untap for one. That's the card. I, I had a feeling they had that open. Because they had the one open mana, so of course they probably have something like that in their hand. It also gave flying though, so they could have just been doing that the whole time. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. I gotta find some way to gain life. Let's do land for turn. I guess I put the bird out just for flying defense here.
they've got no cards in hand so it's really just look at the board state if they if i build up my board state one more turn and then use eagles that might help especially with the trample so we'll do enraged Ring bearer will be Star Waltz. We'll draw a card. We'll discard something. We'll see if we can play anything else. Choose a creature to be ring bearer. Guess it's gonna have to be Star Wars. Now, if I swing with them, it's not lethal. So there's really no benefit to swinging with them, but I could definitely use them to block. So we're just gonna go no combat. For three, they can buff up all their guys to be a three, a three, a four, and a three. And we could block a lot of that. Okay. Then they could sack after combat damage put me to one. But I think I'd have enough to do lethal. Because I have 12 right here if they swing out. But that 3-3 three, three is vigilance, so there's a little bit of a problem there. The eagles will help us a little bit. But I shouldn't swing. Let's see what happens. It's pretty close here. I think they're going to get me because they have the removal in their deck. And that's something I don't have. I have a little bit of removal, but it's not great. Legendary creatures you control get plus two, plus one, and have ward one. Ooh. Even worse. Now they can tap that. 3-3 three, three Esquire. For three, because they have legendary. Make that a six. Five, a four. Four and a five six yikes that's pretty much lethal right there if they sack two creatures after they swing and combat damage then I'm, I'm basically just gonna get boned on life total so that that pretty much just did it it's up to them though Let's see what they can do there's the there's the buff five. Oh, it's two no, it was three. Okay, cool. That makes sense. If they swing with the 4-4, four, four, I'll chop that with the 4-5. Chop the 6-5 with the 5-4 and chop the 5-6 with the 3-4. I would keep the 4-5 alive and yeah, okay. Choose Star Waltz. I can't. I mean, let me think about that. They got a 6-5 swinging, but it's vigilance. So I'm going to run into that problem anyway. It's probably better. Well, if I don't, and I swing with, and I play Eagles of the North, then he'll have first strike. Okay, we're going to do that. We are going to keep Enraged out. I will chop with Elwyn. I don't have the blink card, so she's pretty much useless at this point. Four, eight, just over what I need. Let's do Eagles. Okay. If I play Theoden, then I can get the double strike next turn, which might help. If I swing with the 6-4, 
and, and then they swing out. I'm basically hurt here. Is this pumpable? Can you do more than one? Each creature, each opponent loses one life and you gain one. So next turn, he can just sack three things, swing out, and then sack three things. If I swing right now with 11, that's not lethal. So there's no way I'm making it out of that one. Now, if I if I played Theoden and gave double strike, what would have happened? I could have given Enraged double strike. It would be 8 damage total. It's not lethal. They wouldn't have to take it, and I'd be in the same situation. So we just lose this one. That kind of stinks, but, I mean, it's technically up to my opponent. Do they know they can do that? Probably. I mean, it's a solid ability right there. Just yeah, you've got seven open mana. You're gonna you're gonna pump. You're gonna swing with three, and you're gonna sack the rest. Sack two of them. So pump for three. Tap. Yep. Swing out. And then whatever I block, get rid of those. And like I don't know. I feel like. Actually, that might have been a misplay on them. Because if they swung if they swung out with everything and then sacked what was blocked, then uh, they would have done enough damage. I couldn't do anything. Yeah. But I think they have enough to get get me out of here. I have to block. So I'm going to double block. I'll block with Enraged and Eagles on the Steward and the Shire Sheriff Sheriff Starwaltz. I think that's the move. It's going to it's going to be a lot of trading, but it gives me a chance. I need to draw a creature though. Draw a creature, put two creatures out and I'll be I'll be all right. They got no cards in hand, so there's no combat tricks here. I think that's the move. I don't know. They should, before combat is done, stack because they knew that that was going to happen. That's a misplay. Misplay. Serious misplay. That guy should have sacked those tokens. Made me lose life. Gain him, have him gain life. And take the game a little bit farther. Here we are. So they've got a 3-3 three, three and a 3-3. Three, three. Let's put this out. That's going to get double strike. Swing do 6 damage. Save the human for next turn. Play it, give double strike? Maybe? Now they'd have to hit me for five. If they get a removal spell on bone. And they have removal. So I'm gonna play it and just hope that I draw another creature or human or something. Just to have it out there. Just to, in case they get removal. Swinging for both, huh? They can do three damage. All I need is a human, and I can give eagles double strike. If I take the three, I'm down to two. There's a lot of things they could play that could hurt me there. I think I just blocked the one. If I double block, I give them the option to get rid of Theoden. And I could swing with five, but five ain't six. Not <sighs> One blocker. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Oh, what do they have? Two, one. Oh, no, that sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, I got a forest, so 
the, there's nothing I can do here. Now, if I had, if I had just not played that, let's see. They swung with two three threes. I had to block. If I didn't, that would have been lethal. So I had to block with something. And so if I had to block with Theoden, I still would have been swinging with a 3-3 over the top and a 2-2 on the ground. So that just wasn't going to work. If I swing with Eagles, down to 3, they swing back. That's lethal. Swinging with both. They're probably not going to block. I got one card in hand, so they probably will err on the side of caution and block, but yeah. Good game. Ooh, that was spicy. Real close to that third win there. Didn't get it. Uh, yeah, I could play the land, but there's no point. Ooh, what a good game. That was fun. Enjoyed that thoroughly. Yes. All right, let's see. We got a thousand gems. That's what I'm talking about. Three packs and we got packs from the daily quest. So lots of stuff to open up. Four packs, yeah. All right, so the Horizon Witness, that was a cool card. Pippin's Bravery, awesome. You cannot pass. Destroy target creature that blocked or was blocked by a legendary. That's, that's actually really good on common. There and back again. Five drop. Saga. Up to one target creature can't block for as long as you control this. Search library for a mountain. Create Smog, a legendary 6-6 six, six dragon with flying haste. And when it dies... Great 14 treasure tokens. That's just obnoxious. Oh, we got another rare. Heck yeah. Ferocious Felby, 6 drop, 4-4. Four, four. Enters the battlefield. Each opponent sacks a creature. Create a food token for each sacrifice this way. That's kind of neat. Another Lego loss. There we go. 1-4. We have this in the deck. If it's in a mono green that's probably going to do well aside from that you're not really targeting your own creature unless you're buffing them or enchanting them uh it says spell target so not even equipment's going to help there unless it's the no even the bow it and it, it's an etb and then attach it to target creature that's an ability i, I don't know that might count that might count Shadow Facts, Lord of Horses, 5 drop, 4, 4. Horses have haste. Whenever Lord of Horses attacks, you may put a creature card with lesser power from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. I like that because it doesn't get removed after that. At the end of, a lot of times when you see an ability like that, once you put the creature onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking, you'll like sack it at the end or return it to your hand. So that's cool. 5 drop, 4, 4, solid Boros card. Portal's end. What is this? Additional cost to cast. Discard. Draw two cards. Create two. Create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier. That's not bad. Wind Lord. That's pretty cool. Spell cost two less to cast as long as you've drawn two or more cards. That's pretty easy when you're doing ring temp stuff. Because it only takes two ring temps and then you're drawing a card and discarding a card when you swing with a creature. And that helps. Sting. Nice. This is one of the coolest equipments i think in the set very helpful to untap at each combat and i haven't really got the benefit of it first strike as long as it's being blocked or blocked by a goblin or orc but the value is there two drop two equip gets plus one plus one in haste solid card and our last pack 
We got Shortcut to Mushrooms. This is the guy that they could have sacked creatures, sacrificed another creature. Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. They could have done that multiple times. And the interesting thing was, my opponent knew they could do that because they did that in the game, like earlier. So why didn't they do it then? I'm not entirely sure, but... Revive the Shire, 2-drop, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, create a food token, that's all cool. Good stuff. Alright, what do we get first? Oh, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. Another mythic crap that puts us up to 5. Heck yeah. Sweet. That was pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. As always, watch these games, get those gains, and walk those planes. Until next time, deckheads. Keep it easy.